Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to math. Today we're going to learn about parabolas, okay? You might ask yourself, what are parabolas, okay? Parabolas are when you graph from any equation that is a quadratic, okay? First things first, a quadratic formula is ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? That is a quadratic. Four parabolas, it always revolves around a quadratic, okay? A parabola is a shape or line that curves. You might see it going face down, okay? You might see it going up. You may even see it sideways. You may see it, okay? You may see it one of four ways. Okay, so you're going to learn how to distinguish, how to graph it, okay? So our objective for today is to learn what are parabolas and some key terms, okay, that we need in order to know how to graph them, to know how to label them, and to know how to find the equation of it, okay? Keep in mind, guys, I'm gonna show you a chart, okay? On this chart, I want you guys to copy it. It might not make sense at first, okay? It's okay, we're gonna go over it, okay? If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. I'm gonna have the board up, I'm gonna show you, okay, with all the key terms, and then resume the video after you have the notes. All right, let's see here. Oh, wrong, one wrong way. All right. Notice that. Okay. All right. Now that you have it on your notes. The first one says standard form of the equation we're dealing with today, which in this case are parabolas. Okay? Notice there's two different equations. Okay? Notice that one has y equals, and then you have the x on the inside, and then you have x equals, and then you have y on the inside. Okay? Keep in mind, depending how your equation starts, you either have to put it this way, if y equals, if it x equals, then you have to label it this way. Okay? This is all for y equals, this is all for x equals, okay? For the axis of symmetry, which is something we're going to look for today, okay? x equals h, y equals k, okay? Which means that, again, since we're learning key terms, axis of symmetry is always where your parabola can be folded in half, okay? So our axis of symmetry. It always passes to, through our keyword, which is a vertex, okay? It's another one of our keywords. So if you guys looked at your chart, we have another keyword, which is vertex, right? Which is HK, that doesn't change on either one, meaning that if you look at the axis of symmetry, X, equals h, which is x, and that means that k equals y, okay? So h and y are h and k, okay? That's all the same. So whatever your vertex is, obviously the point is x and y, also known as h and k, okay? They're the same thing. For the final piece, direction of the way our parabola is going to open, okay? By looking at the chart, it says direction of opening, if you're dealing with y equals, if a, meaning your first one outside of the parentheses, is bigger than zero, then it opens up. If a, which is what's in front of your parentheses, is less than zero, meaning it's negative, it's gonna open down, okay? 
when you're dealing with x-axis, which x equals, if a is greater than zero, it opens to the right. If a is less than zero, it opens to the left. Okay? So again, we're learning. Our objective is to learn about what parabolas are, which we did. They're like a U-shape, okay? Key terms. We learned some of the key terms for this parabola, which again was axis of symmetry, vertex, okay, and direction of open, okay? Remember, those are the three things we're going to look at for today's concept. Now that you know the very basics of it, okay, you know about quadratics, okay, parabolas, how they open, how parabolas revolve around quadratics. We can actually start with the concept meaning. There's a very, very simple way to learn if it's going to open up and down, okay? Again, if your A is positive, it opens up. If it's negative, it opens down, okay? Remember, if you're dealing with Y's, equals. So for our first example for today is we have Y. Let's put it over here. We have y equals, okay, remember, y equals, was it the first one or the second one? It was the first part of the chart, right? Okay, so y equals 2x squared minus 12x minus 25, okay? Obviously, we're not going to graph it, okay? At least not today. We are going to graph them, just not today. What we are doing right now is, all we want to know is axis of symmetry, okay? Our vertex, and the way it's going to open, okay? We're going to do that without just without graphing, okay? So now that we have our equation, remember, we're dealing with y equals, right? So we need to leave it in this format. a, parenthesis x minus h, close the parenthesis squared plus k. Okay? Notice that in this equation, we have x squared. Okay? What we're going to do is, we're going to break it into pieces. Okay? We're going to make it into sets. Remember, if you guys remember when I wrote it here, x is also h, okay? So that means that we're gonna have two pairs. We're gonna have y equals 2x squared minus 12x minus 25, okay? Can we take out something from this, this first part? We can, right? They're both factors of Two. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a 2, okay? So we have y. Let's do another color here. We have y equals 2, parentheses, x squared minus, okay? 2 can go into 12, 6 times, so 6x minus 25, okay? It's starting to look a little more like our equation, okay? Notice that we have A on the outside, we have a 2 on the outside, right? Okay, keep in mind, okay guys? Whatever you do to one side, in this case, whatever you do to H, you have to do to K, okay? The only is, the only opposite is it's subtraction, okay? Since it's on the same side, since you're doing positive here, it becomes minus over here, okay? Because it's on the same side. If it was on the other side, then it was the exact same thing on both sides. But before we do that too, with the 25, let's finish this first part, okay? All right, so we're looking for two numbers to create a quadratic in order to get rid of this square. 
Okay, two numbers that give us six that are the same exact number. Because remember, you have to complete the square. Okay, it has to be the same number twice. Two numbers that give you negative six. Obviously, negative three and negative three, because negative three plus negative three, negative six, right? So negative three, negative three. Since we have already a pair, we can say y, y equals two parentheses x squared minus six x, three times three, they're both negative. When you multiply it, plus nine minus 25, okay? Now that you have this quadratic, okay? Since you have the same number twice, it can be created into a square, meaning a while back, we did a concept where we had to do a x and a number square when it was the same number, okay? Here, we already have it. We have negative three. So our problem becomes, okay, it becomes, let's use another color here. y equals, so you guys can see that, yep, y equals 2, okay, parentheses, x minus 3 squared, okay, because remember, we have two threes, so it becomes square, remember, whatever you did on one side, you have to do to the other, which in this case is c, okay, but you have to subtract it. We added a 2 and a 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to minus 25 minus 2 times 9. Okay? Because we got a 2 times 9. Okay? So we're almost at the end. We're almost trying to get that equation that we're trying to look for. So if we combine it all together to put it all into a final form. We would have y equals 2, parentheses, again, x, minus 3, square, minus 25, minus 18. Notice that negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. So we have y equals 2, x minus 3, square, Minus 25 minus 18, notice that they're both negatives, so we're just going to add them, okay? 25 plus 18, we're going to subtract 5 from here, give it 30, 43, okay? 43. So now by looking at this equation, guys, does it look like the equation we wanted to get to? Okay? It does, right? Because it says y equals... A, okay, which is A, X, which again is X, minus, okay, obviously sometimes it might be plus here, but we'll get to that later, H, which in this case H is your 3, square, okay, plus K, okay, so this is K. So if we label it, we could say A, H and K. Okay. Now that we have all three things, okay, we really don't need the A today, okay? That's just the amplitude of your equation. We're not so worried about that. We're mostly worried about, again, finding the axis of symmetry, okay? Solving the vertex or finding the vertex. And finally, the direction is going to open it, okay? So, number one, uh, it's just another color. Number one, okay, it was axis of symmetry. Okay, remember, where is on this problem, okay, if we were to graph it? 
Where is it going to be the halfway point? I will say this. It's always on your x-axis when you're coming to this equation, okay? It's always on the x-axis. So therefore, you need to find your vertex first before finding your axis of symmetry, okay? So which, I, again, our second one is our vertex. And then our third one, opening or open way, okay? So for our vertex, if you guys remember, our vertex is always h comma k on the original equation. If you guys remember, we have minus and plus, okay? So if this equation is already minus, all we really need is the three, okay? So we can say three comma, and then this is positive, okay? So we need to make a negative times a negative is positive. So therefore, we're gonna bring the whole thing, okay? So our vertex is located at three comma negative 43. Again, H is X, K is Y. Therefore, your axis of symmetry is three, because X, equals 3, because remember, x and y, also known as h and k, okay? The way is going to open. You guys remember, the a tells you which way is going to open. Notice that a is bigger than 0, in this case, because it's 2. So it's going to open up, because remember, it's positive. So it's going to open up. And that's it. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, this time obviously we're gonna do one where it's X here, where you're gonna open either left or right, okay, depending on the A. All right, make sure you have everything written on your notes. All right, let's do one more. All right, guys, our next problem is x equals 1 fourth y squared plus 4x, okay? That's our new problem. Again, by looking at your chart, okay, notice that this time we have an x. So this time we're going to base it off of our column at the end. Okay, everything else is going to stay the same. So this time the axis of symmetry, instead of picking X or H, we're going to pick K, okay, which is your Y axis. The vertex stays the same, okay. The uh, Also, the other thing that changes is now it's going to open right. If it's bigger than zero, if it's smaller than zero, it's going to open left, okay. So again, let's label it. Let's put it into the equation of a quadratic, okay? So we have A, so we have X equals 1 fourth Y squared. Two numbers that give us four that are the same number. Two and two, right? Positive two. So plus four, two times two is four, plus four. Plus, since we don't really have a k, because remember, there's nothing after the parentheses. k is 0. Okay? But wait. Remember, we're adding 4, because we added a 4 into the equation. This time, we're not going to add the 1 fourth, because it's already part of the equation. Okay? The only thing we added to this equation was that positive 4. Okay? So what are we going to do on the other side of the equation? We're going to do minus 
4. Okay? So we have x equals 1 fourth. Since we have already the number we need to make it a square, we have y plus 2 squared minus 4. Okay? Because remember, 0 minus 4, okay, it's negative 4. Notice how I already have it in that equation. Okay, you have a, then the y, our h, and then, in this case, it's our k, and then our h. Okay? This time it's backwards. This time the h is on the outside, the k is on the inside. So by just looking at this equation, can we find out our three things? We can, okay? Again, number one, is our axis of symmetry, which I'm not really going to write, I'm just going to put the answer. So our axis of symmetry is, again, remember, this time our axis of symmetry, okay, is our k, k is next to y inside the parentheses, so if it's negative on the equation, you have positive here. In order to make it a negative, you have to multiply by a negative, right? So it becomes a negative 2. You might ask yourself, why? Because the equation has a negative. And if you multiply negative 2 that we've taken out times a negative from the original equation, it becomes positive 2. Our vertex, remember, the vertex never changes, h and k. h is, remember, k, or h on this side, on the other side is positive, OK? So again, since it's negative, in order to make it positive, we have to make a negative. So negative 4, comma, and we already have our y, which is negative 2. And finally, is it going to open left or right? Notice that the 1 fourth is positive. So therefore, since a is bigger than 0, because it's 1 fourth, your parabola opens right. Okay? So notice how we found three things without even graphing it. Okay? Obviously, once we graph it in there, we're going to have to label them all in there. Okay? The whole point of today is to identify them, get familiar with them, with our axis of symmetry, our vertex, and our opening. Okay? All right, make sure again you write this one down. And here is your assignment for today. We have y equals 8x minus 2x squared plus 10. Your second one is x equals y square minus 8y plus 6. And finally, y equals x squared plus 6x minus 4. Okay? Notice I have three problems in tint. One of them is different than the other two. Okay? Make sure some of your answers. As soon as you're not watching the video, guys, if you have any questions, let me know, okay? All right, guys, I'll be here waiting for your email.